Hey everybody, welcome back to Ears First. We forgot to do an intro to this video. We are here at Paradiso 37, checking this place out. Um, yeah, I've never been here before, so this is new for us. It's at Disney Springs. Yep, Disney Springs, near Boathouse, next to Hangar Bar. Uh, we're on the deluxe dining plan. We don't really know much about this place at all, except that it has a lot of gluten-free options. So if that's your thing, they got key lime pie and world's coldest draft beer. I don't know how they can claim that, but they do. They have South Carolina style barbecue pork ribs. Do they? Yeah. Sounds interesting at Paradiso. I guess this is like Southwest Grill, so. And it even says Southwest Grill chicken. But that's Southeast. It I'm says confused. right here Paradiso 37, Taste of the Americas. Oh. It's a little bit of everything, sweet. Okay. So, yes, this is it. This is it. You got the sports, sporty sports on the TV there if you like sports. There's some outdoor seating. Um, yeah. They were really nice about getting us a place Yeah, they saw my really bad limp and thought I hurt myself recently. And I was like, no, no, it's just a bad leg. So they sat us down really close to the front door, which I greatly appreciate because I've been doing this trip without a scooter, just a uh, lift on my shoe, and it's been a journey. Speaking of which, I don't know if you guys saw it. So you can see my shoe, it's a little dirty right here, but um, you can see this white strip going down to two white strips, that's the lift on my shoe. Uh, it's a one inch lift to help me walk, so um, it's helping, but my leg is killing me right now. So, eh, I can relax while we're sitting in here. Maybe I'll get a margarita to help kill the pain. All right, so we got the drinks list. The margaritas specialty drinks come in a 21 ounce celebration or a 45 ounce fun bowl. <laughs> I think that's the it's one copyrighted. I saw that had a lid on it with four holes for straws. Don't say fun bowl, you'll own quarter. Oh, okay. So there's their, ooh, the rum-tastic. Light up Pilsners. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Buy a drink, keep the glass. We don't need any more glasses. No, we need more Disney coffee mugs. So, maybe I'll try a fruity drink today. Let's see what they got. The rum, I keep going back to that rum test. Maybe you should get it. With a fun bowl. I don't think the fun bowl will be included on the dining plan. I'm gonna say no. Um, you can get one alcoholic beverage on the dining plan, and I don't think the fun bowl counts. How much is it? Uh, $35. Okay, yeah. I know they said $29 was the maximum for wine at Monster Hall last night. 26 It was $26. 26? Yeah. So here's the prices, $15 for that. Oh, it includes the souvenir cup. Less. Uh, oh, $18 for a 45 ounce refill. Oh, my. Our squirt bottle from Chef Smith is in the car back at Animal Kingdom Lodge. <laughs> Our $12 refill for the Moonshine Lemonades. Well, we only brought it because we thought we were gonna eat there on Christmas Eve, right? Well, no, we brought it because I figured, you know, we we're gonna come in here. I put it in the car because I know we gotta go home today and probably don't need to drive home with that in the car. It's frowned upon. So, <laughs> uh, we did order appetizers. Uh, we got the the trio, the dipping trio. It says serves two, but he let us pick another one. So we went with a quesadilla, it's chicken. So we're gonna see how those are as well and try to figure out what drinks we would like to have. Okay, so the um, appetizers came out pretty quick. You, you know what chips look like, but here we go. They got the guacamole, you got the beans, you got the queso, and then we got the quesadillas. Our cross section up in there. Chicken quesadillas? Yep, we got the chicken, so. Good. I'm impressed. Yeah. Okay, so the appetizers are fantastic. Each one of those is good. That's really good melted cheese. It's not just like runny nacho cheese. The guac is good. That chili in the middle is amazing. And we got our drinks. I got the Storm Surge, which is a whole bunch of rums. If you've ever been to Margaritaville, they have a drink called the Bottle Clock somewhere. Same stuff. Rums, like three different kinds. Pineapple juice, orange juice, and grenadine. That's what that is. Pamela 
only got the Bahama Breeze or something like that? The Caribbean Breeze. Okay. It's got a Malibu rum, a melon liqueur. I forget what else is in here. Liquor. Pineapple juice. Yeah. It's green. It's green. I like it. That's that's Pamela's favorite color. It's green. So I'm gonna try these. Actually, I'm gonna try mine out now. Good. That's the five o'clock somewhere if I've ever tasted it. We used to make these at home. And it, it might not have the 151 in it that the original five o'clock somewhere calls for, but that's really close. Yeah. Can you taste yours? Yeah. It's a little coconutty, but it's got that melon. Oh, that's it makes it really That is good. It has that hint of coconutty shampoo. <laughs> Anyways, um, these things are really good. The dips are really good. I mean, just see here the how thick the cheese is. You see that? Um, and this chili is not a runny chili at all. Um, really good stuff. It's very hearty. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm happy so far. And the food is here. These are my ribs. Kind of hard to see them. They kind of blend in together, but trust me, they're individual ribs. Um, fries and coleslaw. Nothing too fancy. That sauce is really amazing on there, though. We still have chips and dip. <laughs> Where's Pamela's? Yep. So I got chicken enchiladas, cilantro rice, and beans. Black beans? No. Baked they look like pinto beans or baked beans. <laughs> Is that Bush's baked beans? Maybe. Okay. All right, and like I said, we're still working on this stuff too. So they, the food kind of came out quick after yeah. the appetizers. So, um, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so dinner's done. You see Pamela's taking some to go. I didn't finish my fries and we still had chips and dip left over. Uh, but they got dessert coming and we figured we can at least sniff it. I don't know if we can eat it, but we can try. You know, we put ourselves through this for you guys. I'm, I'm just letting you know, we do this for you. This is way too much food for one person to eat, but we want to show you as much as possible, and it's also Disney, so. Uh, my drink was really good. Pamela's is really good. So, um, the only thing I have so far to complain about this place is this table. Watch this, you know, my hands right here. You know, if I'm sliding it across the floor. I'm barely, barely touching it and it's sliding. It's really annoying. Because uh, Pamela keeps getting squished by the table over there. Uh, the food's good. I'm going to say, nothing's wowed me, but nothing was bad either. So it's, it's one of those places. You know, I don't know if we'll come back to it or not, but I've enjoyed it. So there's just so many other options that have wowed us in the past that, you know, we'd rather go back to it. So, we'll see. We'll see what dessert tastes like. But, you know what I think? What? I think this is Disney Springs' answer to Margaritaville. That is a, actually a good observation. This really is Margaritaville, just... Not Margaritaville. Yeah, it's not... It's the on Disney town, property. Food, everything kind of reminds me yeah. of Margaritaville. Yeah, you're, you're right. The food's actually better than Margaritaville. Mm -hmm. We've been to the one in Myrtle Beach several times, so um, yeah, we're just waiting on dessert now. Pamela said it just before I could, but oh, thank goodness, this is such a small portion. So there's my fingers next to it. It's tiny, but it's at least the right color for key lime pie. I knew that's what I wanted. Uh, Trace leches? Mm -hmm. It's got coconut in it. Yeah. Coconut and white cake. Uh, it's the cake. The, the cake itself was soaked in a coconut water, right? Oh, that's good. Milk. Coconut, coconut milk. milk. Yeah. I'll try mine out. It's nice that it's not too sweet. Very tart, very good. Alex would love this. I mean, he likes anything that resembles a key lime pie, but this is really good. So mm. we're going to try to finish this up and then we'll get out of here. I'll show you how much the bill is, too. If I could get to see it. He kind of came by already and took my Magic Bands can, or the numbers off the Magic Bands, so we could run the dining plan. 
before we even got the dessert, so. And there is that, but. I think it's because it takes a little bit longer because they don't have a scanner. Possibly. I don't know. I mean, it's fine, but it's kind of like bringing the check before you even got your dessert out here. Ooh, strawberries. You have strawberries? Yeah, it's like a coconut strawberry shortcake. That's right. Okay, cool. All right, so I can't show the bill because, you know, numbers and such that are on it. Um, but for everything, it was $132. And again, he brought this to us to sign papers and whatnot, and we're still in the middle of our dessert. You know, the entree came out before the appetizers were finished. That's a problem. Between that and the table is our only complaint. And here we are, again, back in our house. Uh, Cause, We're really bad about doing outros this trip. Well, it's not so much uh, we forgot to do some of the outros. Like Mushroom Paul is the only restaurant we forgot to do. Paradiso, 37, we... That was the day we were leaving. We yeah. left straight from Disney Springs to head home. So... Um, I meant to grab the phone while we were in the car and talk about it, but uh, we're both tired and full, and uh, you saw that food is nuts. So we might remember everything. We might forget a couple things. But I really enjoyed Paradiso a lot more than I thought I was going to. Yeah. It's the taste of the Americas. It's the Margaritaville of Disney Springs. It is the best way to I think describe I it. I mentioned that in the video. <laughs> and I, I stick by that. Yes, it, it really is. It because um, you have a combination of a lot of uh, Latin food, Latin American food. You have just uh, American food, like what I had. I had ri southern barbecue ribs. You have ludicrous boat drinks. <clears throat> yes, and the one I had is actually the same drink they make at Margaritaville. It's called the 5 o'clock somewhere there, um, but it comes with all the same stuff, and we used to make it all the time for parties. And That's bad. That's yeah. a bad idea. Don't, Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> not, not recommended. Not if you want to live. Um... <laughs> But the appetizers, the appetizers were amazing. I love the, um, they gave you a ton of nachos, and that was meant for two, and they still made us order another one, so we got the quesadillas, but. Yeah, without we're being smart by ordering the appetizer that was yeah. intended for two people. Yeah, it says serves like, two. He said, oh, no, you get another one. I'm like, oh. Ugh, I, I don't think we're supposed to, because we've done that before at other restaurants, and they're like, yeah, if it serves two, you get one. Yeah. That makes sense. And that's all we needed, but they brought us both quesadillas and yeah. nachos but i mean it came with the three different dips and the, the chili sauce was really good mm -hmm. so i mean the chips and dip i would i really do recommend that the food i wasn't feeling too adventurous that's kind of why i just went with the southern ribs they were tender the ribs they were good ribs but living in the south i know good barbecue that's you know your tgi f friday Applebee's restaurant that's Chills. barbecue. Yeah. Baby back ribs. It's your typical barbecue mm -hmm. that you can get anywhere. So, but it was still good. What would you think about yours? Enchiladas, it was a lot. Yes. Um, they were good. They they tasted fine. Um, your plate took up the whole table. It was a huge plate. <laughs> I was not expecting the portion that I got. And after the appetizers, it was kind of like, Ugh. Yeah. And even the appetizers, the portions were gigantic. Again, like Margaritaville, you order the nachos, you get the volcano nachos, and it c comes out on this big like pizza tray stacked 10 feet tall, yeah. and oh, there's just so much food. And I mean, the, you keep comparing it, so. Um, I didn't like the rice all that much. No, your rice was very cilantro green. It was cilantro rice, and think if you've had Chipotle's cilantro lime rice, it's that without the lime and way more cilantro. Yeah, and Chipotle's got good rice. Theirs looked like it was a little too, too much. It was a little too much cilantro. And yeah. I like cilantro. Don't get me wrong. It was yeah. just a lot. Lots and lots of it. Um, and the beans were kind of strange too. I yeah. like refried beans or black beans. And these were just kind of like pinto beans. They yeah. almost refried them, but not quite. So, I don't know. The entree for me was kind of a miss. Um, hello, BB. There's our kitty. Hello, BB. There's All his right. tail. Here, I'll put Eeyore down. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, the appetizers were really good. The drinks were good. Um, the enchiladas themselves were pretty good. I just didn't like the sides. Okay, hey. He's going back to play He's with your hair. hair. He's got a weird obsession lately with trying to eat her ponytail. Um, I, again, with mine, nothing too remarkable. Ribs and fries. But it, it was good. I, I, I was surprised that, you know, how good it was and how tender the ribs were and everything. Dessert, the key lime pie, that was my favorite part of the whole meal. Uh, I had the key lime pie. It was 
just straight up key lime pie, nothing on it, and it was good. It was nice and tart. Um, I, I had no complaints about that. The drink I had, it was a tropical something. Uh, I mean, you just saw it on I can't remember the name right off the top of my head. So um, that that drink, it's, it's always a good drink if you're having one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more full equipment. What are you doing? <laughs> he's, he really oh is gosh. eating your hair. Stop. Okay. Ah, he's okay. camera shy apparently. Apparently. <laughs> And now he's sniffing me. Yeah. So this is this is BB. BB, he just had surgery not that long ago. Yeah. Well, it's been a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, about a month, two, two months. months. Yeah. Now he's trying to eat your glasses. What a booger! He knows that we're leaving. We have a Disney adventure planned for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, lots of, lots of stuff coming up in future videos. So keep an eye out for that. Sorry, but we digress. Paradiso. Um, <laughs> my dessert. I can't remember what I had. <laughs> uh, it's been it's been a week. Yeah, it's been it's been a long day. We were packing, getting ready for this trip. We did a lot of traveling for Christmas, and we both got colds. So. Yeah, we're just, she's just getting over it. I'm I'm not as bad as I was this morning. We'll just say that. So, uh, but the yeah, sun's getting real low, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Paradiso thirty seven. You know what? It, give it a try. Um, it might be right up your alley. It's it's not my favorite. I bet it would be a lot of fun at night, though. Yeah. I imagine they'd well, probably keep they got that. They got that big old uh, four-person drink that you see everybody outside, because they have a bar outside that you can just, a walk-up bar, and you can just order what you want and then walk away. And so everybody's ordering that four-person drink with four straws in it and drinking it all by their lonesome. It's a, par <laughs> it's a party bowl. It's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't go to Disney Springs much at night. Mm -hmm. And this was noon. And you still <laughs> saw three or four people walking around with those things. Yes, so, um, yeah, it's. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. No. So, uh, we've definitely had worse experience experiences at Disney, and I'm not saying this was a bad experience. I I actually enjoyed it, but I don't think I'd go back again. It's like we mentioned in the video. You have so many really really good restaurants. Yeah. But this one is just okay. Yeah. It. It's probably one of those ones that, you know, we made reservations for it. We didn't need them. Oh, no. It was, it was empty in there. It was a weird time for a meal, though. It was like 2 or 3 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, it's not really lunchtime. It's not really dinner time. Yeah, which, that's a great time to actually have lunch. Yeah. Especially if you want to get yourself a nice late dinner after the fireworks and everything. But, anyways, we talked your ear off. Uh, Paradiso 37. Um, we didn't do a video for it, but Hangar Bar. I'll Wait. post some pictures from Hangar Bar. On Instagram, yeah. But it was really good. Yeah, it's right next Go door. For drinks. Right next door. Um, that that was fun. They got little, what did she say, tapas? Just yeah, little appetizer like, foods. Yeah, shareable appetizers. Yeah. So, there's BB. Say hey, BB. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, give it a try. Um, and you'll probably enjoy it. And it's, again, one of those ones that you don't know what to do that night. You're going to be in Disney Springs. Yeah, give it a try. You don't have reservations. You need somewhere to eat. <laughs> I'm thinking. Yeah. I have luck there. Well, and it's not that people aren't uh, making reservations to go. It's it's probably one of those ones a lot of people just walk up to hoping to be able to get in. Yeah. It's a pretty big place, too. Yeah. They have a lot of seating. Yeah. So um, that's going to do it for us for Paradiso 37. Single table service credit on a dining plan. Um, we were doing deluxe, so we got the appetizer, the entree, the dessert, and one alcoholic beverage. If you're doing a uh, regular dining plan, it'll be an entree, dessert, and a, a specialty beverage, adult beverage or specialty, so um, or just a soda. But yeah, that's gonna do it for us. So thanks again for watching Ears First, and we hope to see you again real soon. Mm -hmm.